Denver International Airport in the United States is in the process of using building information modelling to support facilities management. We're going to tell you more about that in a moment, but first, as with all our airport BIM case studies, here are the stats. Denver International is the fifth busiest airport in the United States and the largest in terms of area, covering an enormous 85 square kilometres. Over 53 million people travel through it each year and its positioning on the map makes it a hotspot for connecting flights and transfers. The airport's scale means that there's a lot of built assets to manage and the traffic it receives makes it considerably prone to wear and tear. The airport recently added a new landmark structure at the front of their terminal, combining a railway station with a new 519-room hotel. The new facility includes numerous sustainability features and has become a gateway for passengers arriving. The project was designed by Gensler and Anderson Mason Dale and has been managed by HNTB and Parsons. The construction was undertaken by three contractors, Mortensen, Hunt and Saunders, working as the MHS joint venture. By their very nature, airport projects are demanding, requiring all manner of things to be considered, from travel distances and passenger flow to security considerations and, in the case of the US, oversight from the Federal Aviation Administration. The team worked in a building information modelling environment, coordinating their information and proposals in a mutually accessible common data environment. This enabled remote working from different parts of the country where necessary and ensured that the team were all singing from the same hymn sheet, i.e. they were accessing information and making decisions upon it from a single point of truth. Developing in a beer environment, the project benefited from improved collaboration, coordinated timelines and a faster construction period. But for Denver, it didn't stop there. The hotel and transit centre were a sort of warm-up test project for a much bigger BIM effort right across the airport. The airport operators see the benefit of having a better understanding of the facilities they manage in order to run them properly and get the best out of them. That means improving the experience of people moving through them or going to work there every day and saving money by bringing down running costs. The digital picture that Denver are building is not about going out and creating 3D models and visualisations of their entire airport. For them, having a detailed database that informs all ongoing actions is far more important than visualisations. It would also be quite impractical and very expensive to model the entire airport in one go. They have a skeletal model for the whole place that is added to with more detail as it steadily becomes available. The hotel and transit centre is part of a number of extensions and alterations that they are undertaking to improve airport operations and increase capacity. As these occur, the model is updated and the picture of their airport becomes ever more reliable. In the longer term, a key benefit is the ability to do detailed feasibility studies, designing and scoping a new element based on a detailed perpetual as-built of what is currently there. There's no need for surveys and a reduced need for time-consuming feasibility studies. So where do you start with something like this? Well, of course, the airport operators want to convert and carry over as much data about the facility that they already have, but getting hold of some of the original data isn't exactly a digital process. Denver International was built in the early 1990s and opened in 1995, at a time when the transition from hand drawing to CAD was itself still fairly new. The result is a vast array of drawings spread across floppy disks, hard drives and filing cabinets. If you're one of our younger viewers, then a floppy disk is basically a flimsy square piece of plastic that acts rather like a memory stick. You know what, never mind. The first step in Denver's cataloguing was to bring that and over 9 million CAD files together in one place. In the early stages of the hotel and transit centre project, the team used laser scanning to capture the existing above and below ground conditions to better understand the new building and railway station with relate to them. The first three bays of the terminal building were scanned from the roof down to the ground and this helped to model it in great detail. The interior was mapped over three days during the middle of the night. The result was accurate as-built scan data that was important for the new project and could be used in the airport's ever-enriching facilities management database. Ultimately, Denver International Airport want to run their entire facility from a single source of digital information, a single point of truth, for what is what across their vast site. They are trying tablets to put this information into the palms of their staff and operatives, giving them instant access to the data they need and saving time that is often lost travelling across the terminals or airfields. They are also working on an automated, bi-directional information exchange between the models used by project teams on Capital Works and their facilities management platform. The challenge, as one of the team put it, is in getting those delivering capital projects to think of data as if they own it, rather than just creating a set of documents. They need to have the mindset that they will eventually have to come back to the model and use it to inform future work. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a comment below, like the video, share with a friend or subscribe to the BNM.